Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lily Malin's Blur of Color. Today I'm doing a third look with the Lethal Cosmetics After Dark palette. And since it is a Saturday and I only am going out for grocery shopping, so I have some time. And that's why I tried myself the second time at these giant wings. It takes quite a while, but I think, yeah, I got them pretty well. They're a little bit uneven. This one goes up higher than that one, but it's fine. I can live with it. It's not too bad. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing how I did this look, stay tuned, keep on watching and have fun. On my face, I'm starting out with the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation in the color NW18 and I'm applying it with my Morphe M439 brush. For my brows, I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Taupe. As an eyeshadow primer, I'm using the Wonder 2 Prime and Behold. On the inner half of my crease, I'm going in with Proxy, which is kind of like a light blue turquoisey color and I'm applying it with my Morphe M506 brush. On the outer half of my crease, I'm going in with a replica, which is this nice light green. On my lid, I'm applying Quick Save, which is a nice corally shade. Unfortunately, there is no black in the After Dark palette, so I'm going in with Illicit from the Beauty Bay Bright palette and I'm applying it to deepen up my crease and the outer V. On my lid, I'm going in with Arcade and a Morphe M124 brush.
On the very inner part of my lid, I'm going in with overdrive and the same brush. As my inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight, I'm using the NYX Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder in the color Twilight Tint and I'm applying it with my Morphe JS13 brush. On my lower lash line, I'm going in with Outrun and the Morphe M506 brush. For my big wings, I'm using the Epic Incliner by NYX and I'm starting with a straight line from a point just right below the outer corner of my eyebrow down to the outer corner of my eye and for that I'm looking straight ahead into the mirror so I have the illusion that I have a straight line while looking other people on the face because I have hooded eyes. Then I'm using a straight line from the tip of the line that I just drew and I'm drawing in another oh, yeah, it's another straight line um, and ending it a little bit higher in my crease and then I'm just filling in the gap in between. At this point I'm just doing my normal eyeliner line right above my lashes. Now I'm just connecting the end of the <clears throat> wing with the line that I have just right next to my outer corner. And now I'm just filling out more of my eyelid with the liquid eyeliner. Now I'm going back in with the black and I'm applying it partly on the eyeliner and partly on my eyeshadow so I can blend out the harsh line from the eyeliner. And my waterline I'm going in with the NYX For Whites Mint Cream. As a bronzer, I'm using the MAC Mineralize Blush in the color Cosmic Force and I'm applying it with the Real Techniques Dual Fiber Face Brush. As contour, I'm using the contour shade from the Three Steps to Contour palette from Catrice Cosmetics and I'm using a Morphe E4 brush and yes, I finally got a new palette. The other one was quite hard to get some color out.
as blush i'm using pretty vulgar make them blush and the color tickled pink and i'm applying it with my morphe m405 brush As a highlighter, I'm using the same as I did for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, and this time I'm using the Morphe M501 brush. As mascara, I'm using NYX Worth the Hype and Black. On my lips, I'm using Deceased from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Lower Liquid Lipsticks. And I really love that color. It's already the second bottle I'm going through. And I think this color fits to almost every eyeshadow color that I've used. To set it all in place, I'm using the MAC Fix Plus Matte. And here's the finished look. I really like those big wings, although this was the second time I've done them. I wish this wouldn't take as long as it does, so I could wear it on a kind of like everyday basis or at least more often than I do, but I don't have that much time in the morning to get ready, so that's a little bit sad. Um, let's leave us some words on the Lethal palette. I really like the shimmers. They're exactly the same as I expected from the other shimmers from Lethal that I have. They're awesome. The mattes, um, they're quite nice. Some of them are a little bit harder to work with, but just a tiny bit more than the rest. So they're also quite nice. And I haven't had mattes from Lethal before. So yeah, it's a very nice palette. If you like it, I can recommend buying it. And you have nice, good quality. And yeah. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.